Good morning, YouTube. Happy Wednesday. Today is also the very first day of labs with my students. I have AP lab today and I wanted to talk all about my lab stations. I've been meaning to do this video for the longest time because I get a lot of questions about what do I stock my lab stations with. So this morning I have some time. I'm actually in an hour before school starts. So I'm here to get ready. You'll notice that in the lab area I have some notebooks and stuff because the um, AP kids had a test yesterday. Yes, another test. So there are some notebooks, but those are gonna be cleared out by the time lab starts. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I have in my station, but I did purchase some things that I need to put into the lab stations today. And then I'll catch up with you about what lab I'm doing and give you just like a quick like lab station tour so you can kind of see what I have inside the station. This is the lab we're doing today, um, just a really simple empirical formula lab. Um, this I do in CP and honors as well, but the AP version specifically focuses on the fact that magnesium also reacts with nitrogen in the air, and I have them do some error analysis questions after their calculations, so it looks like something like this. Um, and so uh, with this, this is a pretty lengthy lab because they have to do multiple um, masses. So they've got a lot of, of masses to take and obviously it takes a while for things to cool down. I did do a pre-lab video, so I'm hoping that they'll be able to complete the lab and the calculations because they won't have to really listen to me yammer on about all the safety and whatnot because they already did that pre-lab video and I did check that early this morning. So what you saw me doing around the lab area, like specifically over there, and over here is I, I actually have um, honors in between AP, so I have to kind of get all my equipment and stuff in here. I do have some magnesium ribbon, but it's pretty oxidized, so I was going to have the students use some steel wool and gloves to um, clean it, and then hopefully it'll be nice and shiny, and then they are going to um, produce ammonia when they add some water to the uh, magnesium product. So what I'm gonna have the kids do is prove that they formed a base by using some pH paper by holding it over the crucible. I have brand new stainless steel crucibles. Aren't they beautiful? They look so good. Um, I love these. I used to use the porcelain crucibles, but they always broke every single time I did this lab. So I started using these um, stainless steel crucibles and I absolutely love them. The magnesium ignites in no time so it is a very easy easy lab i also love the covers it's so much easier for the kids to grab them with the crucible tongs um, and that's pretty much it so it's a very easy lab setup so that makes it great for me because it's been a crazy couple of weeks um, but for right now i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start preparing for the rest of my ap classes because not all my ap classes have lab and then i'll talk all about what i do with my lab stations and how i organize them for students it is the end of the day and i had a few students come in to visit me from the last couple of years so I didn't have a chance to hop on here but I'm back now and uh, it's about 3 30 so I thought now I could finally talk about how I stock my lab stations my lab stations are definitely um, a lot more different than they have been in my previous school so I will say that I do miss the setup in my previous school because I definitely had a lot more space for the students to store their equipment so for right now what I think I'll do is I'll just show you what a lab station consists of and all the equipment that I put in the drawers. Every lab station consists of a set of drawers and then a single cabinet. At my old school, we actually had two drawers and then a larger cabinet with like two doors on it. So this is definitely a lot smaller. So typically in the left drawer of the cabinet, I purchased some aprons. These are actually from Amazon. Oh, looks like from our lab today. Some students left crucible tongs in there. But I, I have two aprons that I store in here that I purchased from Amazon. These are new this year. I did not have them. Um, so these all go here. My hope is to somehow 
like I don't know. I'm thinking about labeling labeling this. Maybe it was my Cricut or something. Just that aprons go here, and then in this drawer, you'll notice this is actually how I designate testing seats. In this drawer, I have all the metals and stuff. So, um, so in here, this is very typical what my students use, you know, with labs. So I try to put things that my students use very frequently. So, for example, you'll see that you know I've got all the metal stuff. I've got my um, stirring rod, striker, clay triangle, test tube clamp, crucible tongs, beaker tongs, and an iron ring. I really would, my goal with this is I would really like to somehow, I don't know, put some sort of like, almost like a placemat in here, because I actually saw this on the AP Facebook group. Um, somebody designed like a placemat where they put all of this equipment like to demonstrate that it's in the correct drawer. So I am strongly considering maybe putting something in here that indicates what's supposed to be in this drawer. So, but basically all the metals and stuff go in here. And then down in the cabinet, this is very bare right now, but I have a test tube rack. You'll notice that the plumbing is here and these um, shelves I actually had to make. I did um, ask my fiance to uh, cut this um, and, and put like a little thing on the back. So this little lip on the back so that if the students put something back here, it won't fall over. So they've got a test tube rack and then they've got their ring stand and then their Bunsen burner. Um, in my old school, I did put beakers of different size in here as well, um, but I, I don't have the space. And I was worried if I put the beakers on the bottom, then I was worried that they would break, you know, with trying to remove the um, uh, different stuff, you know, from the bottom here. So like the Bunsen burner or the ring stand. So that's pretty much all I have right now for my lab setup. Anything that my students need, like um, thermometers or crucibles, I don't actually store these in here. Instead, I store them over on the shelf. Um, and so I, I, again, I wanna avoid students breaking stuff. So that's kinda how I set up this part of my lab. As far as other pieces of equipment that my students might need to access, I actually put the balances all along this back wall. So I did, um, have somebody come and install um, little like locks for the balances um, but then somebody cut them this past year so those are on order so I'm hopefully getting my lock soon but there is um, something to attach the balance to the wall so typically those are back there and then on this like middle section of the classroom so like you'll see there's green baskets here right now this is where I store the chemicals and things that the students need to um, get for their lab sometimes I'll put it out like at their tables for them but like in this lab they needed a little piece of pH paper so I put this so anything like extra I put in here sometimes if I have a really really big class I will also make this a lab station as well so for this one I do not have the same setup instead all I have is one cabinet to put everything in but I only use it if I absolutely have to it definitely helps with kind of giving the kids more space to work and it does have gas hookup so that's why I'm totally fine with making this an actual station for the kids so, like I said it's a very basic setup for my lab and my lab equipment I don't know what everybody else does but I'd love to know like how do you set your stuff up? You know, can you see a better use for the way that I've arranged my lab equipment? If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. But for right now, I think I'm going to get out of here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I will certainly check in with you guys next week.